What's up, guys? Chris at Bitcoin Advisors doing a bit of a late one here. Yes, getting up early, staying up late. And I want to bring our attention to a couple of altcoins as there is some news brewing in the market. An Ethereum ETF coming right behind the Bitcoin ETF. And one of the, I think the SEC chairman was speaking with the guy at Grayscale about um, their ETF as well. And so, what's happening? Coins like Optimism because they run off the Ethereum network alongside Arbit sorry, uh, Arbitrum is another one, but um, this one right here, Lido. And the ones I'm keeping an eye on are the ones that recovered all of their gains and then some um, after you know the, the leverage wipeout. So uh, that being said, that being said, it's a beautiful day out here. It's been a beautiful day in cryptocurrency land. A scary day for some, but um, those who, you know, practice good risk management, I'm sure everything went as planned. Needless to say, um, why do I want to bring this one to our attention here on the weekly time frame? Lido is um, a um, Ethereum... It's a liquid staking derivatives platform, and they are set to be popular um, as the Ethereum price gets jacked up. More people are going to want to stake their ETH, their liquid staking ETH socks, whatever, whatever they're soaking their ETH in to get it extra, extra yield. Um, that's what it is, sir. And uh, this is going to be a massive breakout if Lido wants to get back above 329. And um, I am expecting at least a run at the highs here at 312 after that violent reaction to the upside and the downside. Lido is looking strong alongside this one here. Optimism is going to complete the weekly W for a shot back to 269. If we can close anywhere here or higher this week, that would be my call on Good old optimism. And you can see as this one had a massive bear candle, bulls picked it on up and took out the high for the day. Uh, very similar to what we saw Ethereum do. So Ethereum lighting it up, not even taking a sneeze with that leverage wipeout and just off to the races at 2100. Pretty exciting, guys, for Mr. Ethereum. Wow. And, uh, just throwing some more confidence behind those trades there. Um, the other one here is Cosmos. Um, as you can see, took out all the, you know, washed out all the leverage and boom, threw it right back in their faces. And uh, another one off to the races. Um, what else did I want to bring? I guess we can talk about Bitcoin really quick as Bitcoin is trudging the road to happy destiny onwards and upwards. We did hit that upside target of 38,000 that we'd been talking about for some time. And I will bring it out one once more here. And it is the 0.5 and the 618. So we're not even quite to our original target on the weekly time frame, um, however, if we look at the 0.5 and the 618, yeah, breaking above it here, looking good for some slow, steady grindage to the upside for Mr. Bitcoin. Um, not to say we can't get a pullback, right? Which I do suspect there will be one here in the short term. But um, other than that, I'm going to leave you guys with a little four hour TA on Bitcoin. And I would suspect Bitcoin follows through. In fact, as long as we don't close anywhere below this guy at 35.6, we already wicked below it. So was that enough to get the bears out of the way? I don't think so. I don't think so. So more uh, test of the upside. It looks like to me, that is a bit of a topping forming uh, reversal candle, but if any of the altcoins have anything to prove, um, they they have led the pack and you can see the ETH BTC chart as well. I'm gonna check in on that one as well. Hit Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin dominance. And I wonder if that filled the gap, no. So Bitcoin dominance taking a little leg down here on the daily. <clears throat> 
tether dominance continues to the downside did break our critical level here so looks good for some more altcoin party at least in the short term it's kind of like the honeybee theory i think uh, people are kind of going from one thing to the next but sticking with the leaders um you know uh the things like chain link and uh and well rune optimism um just to name a few kind of leader injective i i don't know about this one that that looks like a pretty bearish close for the day on declining volatility wouldn't mind seeing this one come back and test you know 1090 but uh don't know if that's in the cards yet. Um, Solana also proving himself strong here today and just closing above the critical level. Looks like Optimism or Solana wants to go for some more, maybe tack it up to 58 bucks. Um, all right, that's it out of me today, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your evening, morning, whatever time you're watching this. I hope you have a good one. Take care.